In this video we are going to use the black box go to measure the area of a field. The system stores the field measurements on an SD card as a field boundary map. This allows the use of the auto field detection feature and also creates a printable version on the card ready to print from a PC or compatible printer. When we are in the field that is to be measured and ready to start, press the start job button from the home screen. A farm and field name needs to be entered for the system to organise the field boundary maps. To enter in the details select farm, then either select one from the list or select new to manually type in the name. Now the names are in and we are happy, press the green tick to continue. Now we are asked for the width and guidance mode. As we are just measuring the field area, these settings can be left unchanged by pressing the tick. This now takes us to the job screen ready to begin the job. To start an area measurement of a field, first press the start boundary map button. This opens the boundary recording options. For area measurement, the type needs to be set to boundary. Then we need the distance the antenna position is from the edge of the field. Press the offset button, then enter the measurement. The direction is which side the edge of the field is on when travelling forward. Once we are happy with the settings, press start. Now we need to drive around the edge of the field back to the starting point. As we travel around the field, if there are any obstacles along the driving path, the boundary recording can be paused by pressing the pause boundary button. The obstacle can then be driven around. And when you're repositioned, press the button to unpause and continue driving around the field edge. Now, as we reach the starting point, the black box will automatically close the boundary map, displaying an outline of the field and area that has been measured in the minimap. If for any reason you have made a mistake or need to redo the boundary map, press the start boundary button again. The system will notify you that there is a boundary map for the field already and if you would like to delete and replace it. To redo the boundary map, press on yes and create a boundary as before. As we are happy with the boundary, we will just press no. If we now want to create a boundary map for a different field, press on the menu button and then finish job. This returns back to the home screen ready to start a new job. Also, as you can see on the screen, because we are still in the field that we just mapped, the system has auto detected that we are currently in that field. This concludes our video on measuring area with the Black Box Go.